friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday. It's massive grocery haul time. We needed quite a few things. I haven't been to Sam's Club in a month and a half. I haven't been to Costco in a month. So I have a huge $550 massive haul for you. Lots of new food finds that I'm really excited about. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend this is how I've lost 90 pounds in 2022 and 140 pounds total and I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for this massive grocery haul. So we're gonna start off this week's haul with a massive haul from Sam's Club. It's been about a month and a half since I've been to Sam's Club. And like I mentioned, we only go to Costco every two months now because Diesel's medication lasts for two months. So I needed quite a bit from Sam's Club. And I have some super, super, super exciting new food finds. So let's jump in. Food find number one that I cannot wait to try out. We'll definitely test this out and what I eat in a day. These are the Premier Protein Pancakes. You can see I bought two boxes because I have heard rave, rave, rave reviews about this. It is three pancakes per serving and there's 15 grams of protein, which is amazing. You can microwave them. They come packaged in individual servings. So it's going to be a great protein packed breakfast. I love making my own protein pancakes, but I mean $10 for 24 pancakes ready to go is an incredible deal. So I'm super excited to try these out. And here's another new food find that I was excited about too. So Cleo has had mini bars for quite a while, but these are new flavors, cherry and raspberry. There's four grams of protein per bar and only 60 calories. These are such a great sweet treat or a little snack after lunch or after dinner. And they're so low in calories and points and they're delicious. And I love that they're made with Greek yogurt. So you do get a little bit of protein. So I I was really excited to see those. We've never bought this before. Troy loves popcorn. You guys know we've been on this mega popcorn kick. So he loves caramel corn. So I grabbed this because it was about $5. And I know that I've had this brand before, this Popcornopolis. They come in those little, these little things, you know, like at the fair. So I thought that he would like having that as a snack. And then I already dug into these and these are incredible, by the way. These are the lemon yogurt thinly dipped almonds. So these are like skinny dipped almonds, same calories points as those. These are absolutely delicious. They do have a much thinner coating. So normally chocolate dipped almonds have a pretty thick coating. These are a little bit thinner, but they are absolutely delicious. I saw that they were limited time. I want to say it was about $10 for the bag. Highly recommend if you can grab these at Sam's Club because delicious. I did pick up a huge bag of Skinny Pop. Again, Troy and his popcorn kick. You guys know I love my lesser evil. I ordered two bags from Imperfect Foods, but I don't want him to eat them like he did last time. So I picked him up the huge bag of Skinny Pop. I did grab some treats for my dogs. These are the beef jerky recipe beef brisket treats made in the USA. Only four ingredients. I thought they would be a nice healthy treat. Loves olives and these were less than $8 for two huge queen olive jars, which is a fantastic deal. I also love green olives. I love them as a snack. I love them, put them on a salad. So I picked up the two pack. I always grab plain non-fat Greek yogurt when I'm at Costco or Sam's. It's such a great deal. And I eat non-fat Greek yogurt all the time. In fact, I've been kind of missing my yogurt bowls. So I'm going to bring those back into my life. So I will definitely go through this. And then I grabbed a huge thing of minced garlic. Again, a product we use all the time in cooking and I go through the small container so quickly. This was $5, so an incredible deal. Also, one of my other favorite things at Sam's Club is the fried pickle dip. I haven't had this in a while because I haven't been to Sam's Club in a while. I love this with vegetables. I love this on wraps, on sandwiches. It is so incredibly delicious. I have raved about this before. It's one of my very favorites. I grabbed some Kleenex because we were almost out. I didn't pick them up at Costco last time, so I think we're down to about two boxes. And then you know I love my 
my true fru. I did grab the white chocolate strawberries last time. Amazing. Absolutely delicious. So this time I decided to get the dark chocolate raspberries as well because a couple of you told me that they are delicious. And these are just really great, great sweet treat options with excellent, excellent ingredients. Some more of my favorite butter, which is Kerrygold. This is the butter I have been using. I still buy light butter for Troy and for baking, but for the most part, I have just switched over to regular butter, just less of it. The Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurts, these were on sale for $9 for 12 cups. That is such a great deal. This is actually one of my favorite yogurts, and you get strawberry, vanilla, mixed berry, and blueberry. Tide Pods, because again, almost completely out for my last Costco run. Troy loves the Lighthouse dressings. This was $4.98 for this huge bottle of ranch. I also like to use this when I'm having vegetables to dip it in, but he loves ranch dressing and I thought that was probably the best deal I was going to find for Lighthouse. I also picked up some more dishwasher detergent. We don't use pods. We usually use the Cascade gel. I find that it gets my dishes a lot cleaner and again, almost out from my last trip to Costco. I was going to get Rayos marinara, but Sam's Club only has the tiny jars, so they're a little bit pricey. So I just grabbed the Classico brand. And we don't use this very often. A lot of times I will make a big batch of spaghetti for Troy to have for the week. So he'll go through the Classico sauce probably quicker than I will. But I thought three jars for $10 was a great deal. F Troy's favorite cheese is Colby Jack. We were almost out of sliced cheese. And again, such a great deal at Sam's Club. Just a couple of fruits for the week. I grabbed some blackberries. And finally, I found strawberries that weren't outrageously expensive so I picked those up as well and in fact these look really really good I want to say this was about seven dollars which at this point at this time at this juncture is a really good deal we got paper towels and toilet paper again almost out from that last Costco run I did decide to pick up some kind minis I actually really like these these are great on the go snacks I love to pair one of these with a string cheese or a yogurt for a protein packed snack you get 16 bars of the dark chocolate sea salt and six of the caramel almond sea salt. I do have quite a few trips coming up pending Lola's doing well, and these will be great to take with me traveling. I grabbed my favorite lunch meat, which is the Members Mark Uncured Black Forest Ham. This was also on sale for $7.50, which if you know the price of lunch meat, that's a steal, so I picked that up. I grabbed a case of the Premier Protein Caramel. They didn't have a lot of options, but I always pick up a case of protein shakes whenever I go to Costco or Sam's Club. Omeprazole for Troy. This is the Heartburn medicine. And then lastly is a big two pack of Canadian bacon. We love making breakfast sandwiches with these. And then also just having this on hand for a great source of protein. I did also grab a case of Diet Coke and a case of Gatorade Zero, which Troy is already putting away out in the garage. So now let's go ahead and jump in to the rest of this week's haul. And here's what I picked up for the week from Kroger or my fry store. So this is a Kroger, Fred Meyer, fries. They all fall under that same umbrella. So I got so some salmon and this was such a fantastic deal. This is wild caught sockeye salmon. It was reduced to $4.80 each. I am doing salmon in my meal prep this week. So I was really excited to see this great price. In fact, I got some really great deals on meat today. If you go early enough in the morning, you can generally get their markdown meat and I just throw it in the freezer. It's generally a really, really fantastic deal like this salmon. I also found a pound of 99% ground turkey for $3.47. And then this big, huge pack of 93% ground turkey. This is three pounds for $4.40. I mean, how amazing of a deal is that? And I like to mix my 93 and my 99 together. The 99 can be kind of dry, but if you mix in some 93, it really helps make it a little bit better in my opinion. So I was excited to see that deal. And then they did have their Laura's ground beef marked down to $4.79. Last time it was a dollar cheaper, I think, but I still picked it up. This is usually about $8. And then they had their Simple Truth organic ground beef for $3.48. That is an amazing, amazing deal. And this is 93.7. So I grabbed three pounds of that. Dolores is also 93.7. So I scored on meat deals today. I didn't even know that Kroger had their own brand of sugar-free chocolate chips. I'm out of Lily's and Lily's were like $11, which is crazy. I usually buy them on Nutrition where I buy my fiber gourmet pasta. So I'll just buy them with my next pasta order. So I grabbed these. I thought that I would try them. Um, they're definitely worth a try and they were $2.99. Troy asked for a refill of his light butter. This is what he prefers to use. Like I mentioned in the 
Sam's Club portion. I just use regular butter unless I'm baking, but this is his favorite butter. I also grabbed these. These are my favorite things ever. They were so expensive. I think $7.50, which is insane for pretzels. But these are the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp Bites. I like the little baby ones. I know they're not really any different than the big ones. I just prefer the babies, so I picked that up. Two boxes of cereal for Troy. This is the Toasted Berry Crisp from Kashi. That's his favorite. Unfortunately, Kroger stores don't carry the big box. The big box is a much better deal at Walmart, but since they don't have it, I picked him up two of the small boxes. I need some dried cherries for my meal prep, and then I did see that they had sugar-free butterscotch pudding. I was actually looking for sugar-free vanilla for protein pudding, but that seems to be hard to find. I couldn't find any, so I did grab a box of sugar-free butterscotch. I really like protein pudding with the caramel protein shake and the butterscotch pudding. It's so good. And a few jarred and canned goods. I needed some roasted red bell peppers for a recipe. And then we fell in love with these little whole sweet petite pickles during Super Bowl. So I restocked those. I actually was looking for the no sugar added ones and they didn't have them. So I'm wondering if they're no longer available or if they were just out, but I did pick up those because like I said, we both really, really like those. And then I had to get these. They were on sale for $3.99 and these are my favorite almonds. I love, love, love the wasabi and soy sauce. And then I needed cashews for a recipe. Troy loves cashews, so he'll eat the leftovers of those. He also asked for some things. He wanted some canned ravioli, so I picked up two. And then he wanted some soup as well. So I grabbed a New England clam chowder. These were on sale for three for $5, which is a really good deal. Chicken noodle, and then he loves tomatoes. So I picked picked up three cans of soup and a couple cans of ravioli. I need cannellini beans for a recipe this next week. So I grabbed three cans of the organic and they were four for five. So I picked up a can of chili beans as well. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. He's been going through a little bit more milk since he's been eating so much cereal. I wanted some crackers and these just sounded really good. These are the back to nature plant-based snacks, crispy wheat. These are basically a wheat thin, just a little bit better ingredient. So I picked those up for myself. I I need bacon for a recipe and I love fully cooked bacon. I hate cooking bacon. I don't care if it's on the stove, the oven, the air fryer, I hate it. It's messy. So for me, pre-cooked bacon is a huge win. I was thinking about it and I should have bought the big pack at Sam's Club, but next time I go to Costco, I will pick up the big pack of pre-cooked bacon. I needed oat flour for a recipe. I know I can make my own, but I can't be bothered. So I decided to go ahead and just buy my oat flour. Egg whites, I never buy egg whites. I just usually use the white of the egg, but eggs are so expensive. Even our farm fresh ones from our community that I thought, you know, next time I need egg whites, I'll just use liquids. It's a much better deal. So I picked those up. You know, I love, Lesser Evil, and they have their little Valentine's Day packs. These were actually on sale for $2.50 for eight bags. I should have picked up more than one pack, but I haven't even tried this one. It's white chocolate strawberry. Okay, that sounds amazing. These are only 70 calories per little bag. They have a nice clean ingredient. So I will try these, and if I like them, I may swing back by and buy a few more packs because $2.50 for eight bags is a fantastic deal. Troy wanted English muffins, so I picked up sourdough for him, and then they have this limited edition buttermilk. But what I was most excited about, and I'm gonna try these today, is I found cinnamon plus protein. Each one of these English muffins has eight grams of protein. That is amazing. That's more than a slice of bread, and they're 140 calories, the same as traditional English muffins. And I love that these are cinnamon. I'm gonna toast one up and maybe add a little bit of butter. Hopefully I like these and I, if I do, I'll definitely be repurchasing. And then I did grab some produce. I have an Imperfect Foods box coming tomorrow. So I got some yellow squash for a recipe, some parsley, sugar snap peas, a couple of red onions, celery, and then I needed La Siendo, La Kiendo. I don't know how you pronounce it, kale. So I got the organic kale. Kale's on the Dirty Dozen and it's really, really high pesticide. So I always, always buy kale organic and it was about the same price as the regular. So the other, the only other thing I picked up is a case of water, which is in the garage. So let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. As always, we are going out for dinner today, Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm going to make tacos. I have some taco shells I need to use up. On Sunday or on Monday, I'm making the Tuscan 
white bean kale soup. You guys will see this in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I am so excited for this recipe. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing turkey meatballs with red pepper sauce. I have some frozen turkey meatballs I need to use as well. And then Thursday and Friday will be leftovers because we will probably have a lot of soup and the meatball dish leftover. And then here's what you're going to see in meal prep. Also super excited for this. For breakfast, I'm making cinnamon roll pancakes. For lunch, I'm doing a crispy salmon meal prep. And then for snack, I'm making cherry pie energy balls. I loved having the turtle ones this last week and this cherry pie one sounds amazing. So again, stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. I hope you enjoyed this massive haul. Lots of new food finds, lots of great recipes coming your way this next week. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss meal prep. What I eat in a day for that soup recipe. I'm super excited for that. And if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.